How goes it, everybody? My name is Howitzer, and welcome back to SnowRunner. Today we got another truck to show. This one doesn't seem like it's going to be too bad. So give this video a like. Give me a subscribe. Ring that little bell. Let me show this truck to you. So, the Shorty Dent Side. Okay. Interesting. Looks like it's modeled after an old Ford. Maybe the way the hood is. Late 70s, early 80s, maybe? I don't know. Leave it in the comments. I don't fucking know. Okay. We have the grocery... Uh, we have the grocery getter. 550 horse. The stockish spec. 402 horsepower. Tolan Hall. With 1,400 foot-pounds of torque. And 750 horse. Or the Trail Runner Supercharged. 760 horse. So this is made by the same guy who's done like the Blazer and like the Chevy pickups. So I bet the supercharged engine is going to be just as fucking rowdy as those trucks. So let's do it. All right. The heavy tow and haul four speed with this one though. Let's try it. It sounds interesting. We got the King of the Hammers, Mini Max crawler, stockish, stockish lifted, stockish lifted tow and haul, stockish lifted tow indestructible stockish tow and haul trail runner max crawler spec and then the trail runner spec let's do the trail runner max crawler and then of course there's a butt fuck ton of tires oh see he's got the uh the the stats of the tires so that's kind of nice to see so you kind of know what kind of tire does better in the mud and dirt and stuff like that which is kind of nice so we're definitely going to do a 45 inch tire because that seems like the uh the big one so it looks like the crawler runners are the better tire 9.5 out of 10 in the mud 10 out of 10 on the pavement i don't know about that i guess maybe he maybe he made some changes because it's pretty slidey on the pavement on the other trucks anyway then we'll do the trail runner spec 12 volt winch diff lock yep that's always on then you got the uh the roll cage snorkel which is kind of cool you can go in some pretty deep water with it you got your gooseneck your weighted gooseneck hitch your shorty toe hitch and your weighted shorty toe hitch. We'll go with the toe hitch, sure. Just a regular one. You can put roll cage in there and harnesses and whatever. We'll put the roll cage in it. Just it kind of gives it a cool look. For bumpers, we got this old school style looking bumper. And it looks like it even offers repair parts and stuff, which is kind of nice. You got the old 80s roll bar, just like a little like a little push bumper and you got this one the trail runner cage with LED lights huh you got your overland pack a pre-runner bumper then your uh, you just got your stock rear bumper a tube bumper rock sliders we'll put rock sliders on we'll do the tube bumper and I'm gonna go with this front bumper the pre-runner bumper it's all about that approach angle Bed mount radiator, nah. The 77 grill, the 78 grill. You can either have round headlights or square headlights. Hmm. I kind of like the uh, 77 more than the 78. You can either, you can have the uh, the lower uh, molding, or you can have the little, uh, the wheel well trim too. We'll do the wheel well trim. That looks, that looks decent. You can have a tire carrier in there. I don't really care about that. Then you got all sorts of colors. You got your two tones kind of make it look aged and a little beat up you can make it just glossy so we'll go with the the baby blue let's go see what this thing has huh this thing looks pretty sharp for a ford Ooh, doesn't sound bad either all right with this engine put it in four wheel drive first with this engine we'll see how powerful it is i'm gonna take off i'm gonna put it in high Oh, see, this is a little more tame with this transmission. Oh. Yeah, this is way more tame. Woo! Oh, like it's nothing. This 
This is a pretty good looking truck though. For a Ford. I'm a GM guy. Went down to Swampy Town. I've noticed that this area hates high wheel speed. You drop her down in the low, and with these trucks, it just it just goes right through it. So you put it in high, that high wheel speed, you slow down, you put it in low, you get pretty much no wheel slip, and you just crawl through it. Ah, it's not doing bad. It's doing pretty good. It's to be expected. Not really too much is going to get in this thing's way unless you get into some really deep water, I guess. You put it in high if you... If the ground can take it, and then you can really get somewhere. We'll swap out that transmission a little later and see see how fast this thing will really go. If it's just like the Chevy or not, which it probably is. Let's go take it on some rocks. Yeah, this thing is way more tame with this transmission. Wow. Put her in low. The sound model for this sounds really good too. Screw that tree. See, stuff like this is why you need that approach angle. Wow, did that no problem. Oh, 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 okay. All right, did that pretty good. All right, with the short wheelbase, we'll see if it'll climb it. Ooh, it's got some torque to it too. Oh. oh, wow, it did it. Not too bad. All right. Put her in high and get a little more speed out of her. Let's go swap out that transmission. We'll see if we can really get this thing to move. All right, now we'll see how fast this is. Put it in full drive. Ooh, yeah, okay, it's faster. Oh, look at the side of my truck. That thing slid. <laughs> that did not want to stop sliding. Is this going to be... Oh, is this going to be fast enough to to jump it? Let's find out. Yeah, yes it is. <laughs> oh, I love jumping trucks in this game. It's just the mechanics of the game just oh, it's hilarious. Definitely put some pep in the step of this truck with this transmission for sure. Woohoo! Yeah, it gets. Oh. It gets a hell of a lot faster. Woohoo! And it squats that ass end and you take off. <gasps> Just gotta. Oh, Jesus. Just got to watch your steering. Really? It, it won't climb this? How 
odd. It's weird. Ooh. Yep, you just gotta be careful. God, this thing sounds so good. Whee! Yeah! There's little... Little dips right here. Woohoo! Yeah. Get some. <laughs> oh. Let's go up over here. This thing is quite fun. I'm kind of glad he did one uh, for the old school uh, Ford pickups for some of those Ford guys out there. He needs to make a Suburban model. That would be fucking sick. Fucking Suburban model? Oh, man. I'd probably keep that one, too. They got a really long wheelbase. I bet that thing would be fun. Oh man, this. Oh yeah, get some. Oh oh oh. <laughs> I don't remember. Will these trucks pull trailers? Yeah, it, sh it should be. It should pull a trailer, right? Yeah, that, yeah, that's what I thought. You can still pull your trailers with it too. But uh, overall, I think it looks pretty good. He did a good job with this one, too. Do a Suburban model. I want to see a Suburban model. That would be fucking sick. He did the Blazer. He did the pickup. I'll do the Suburban. Yeah, another fun truck from this guy. John John Hot Rod, I do believe. Again, another decent truck. That's all for this one. Give this video a like. Hit that subscribe button. Click that little bell. And I will hopefully see you in the next one.